Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. Victor's going there. Wyatt is apparently going with you. Stop moving my god. Oh. And Frankie's back at the lodge. Chilling with Maybe all they're there. Maybe they're resting. Chilling like a villain. Alright. So, uh, Victor, you're heading to the police station. Uh, there's a lady behind the desk again, filling out some paperwork. Um, you see the cell behind her in the back has a tarp stapled over the window right now. Oh, hi again. Um, what brings you in? I just wanted to have a conversation about uh, what took place last night. Um, is the I take boss it around? you were involved? Uh, not directly, but I heard what happened, yeah. Uh, what do you need, then? What do you need to know? Are you the one in charge that I can talk to? That's that's okay. I mean, you can talk to me, yes. All right. Uh, I'm just seems, curious. Seems like uh, kind of a sexist thing to say, but go ahead. No, no, it does. I don't care if you're a man, woman. Doesn't matter. I just, I just generally find when uh, uh, you're talking to somebody that you need to make sure you're talking to whoever's in charge so that uh, stuff gets done. You you get it. I'm not in charge, but I can get stuff done. Go ahead. All right. Well, seems to me, I, I don't know how things are run up north here. I don't know. Um, but uh, when you got somebody in custody, uh, you guys don't have somebody watch them 24 hours a day? Um, we only have three people here. So no, we don't. We have cameras. Um, we make sure that they aren't a danger to themselves. Um, like, they can't do anything. There's nothing really they can do to hurt themselves. Um, so, no, we we have them locked up in a cell. Generally, we don't have somebody coming in and try and break them out. But I guess we'll have to uh, put some bars on the window for next time. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know what Tom told you, but uh, it wasn't a, so much a question as the, of uh, Elias being broken out. As and much weren't of a you the ones who uh, dropped him here? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to explain to you. Just uh, give me five seconds here. Um, it's not so much of a question of him being broken out as a question of him being protected. Did you get a chance to review the cameras? Yeah, I assume that was your guys' fault that they were all shut off last night. Yeah, see, we had nothing to do with that. Um, I well, was actually you can understand to get how I would be slightly skeptical of you telling me that, correct? You don't seem like a stupid person, but like you would understand why I, I doubt that you had nothing to do with that, right? Oh, yeah, I can understand that perfectly. I'm just telling you, we had nothing to do with that. And in fact, I was coming here to see if we could get some of that footage from you because we were wondering what exactly happened to as well. Well, it goes up to a Charlie certain and I... time, and then there's static for about two hours, and then it comes back in. Two hours, eh? That's interesting. Because from what I heard about this incident, uh, they were only helping Elias for maybe 15 minutes. Okay, so you do admit to helping him. No, I didn't say that. I said the people that were trying to help Elias. And not trying to help him escape, trying to help him from whatever was happening. Okay. Well, Elias hasn't told us anything, and um, again, from the looks of it, 
looks like you guys were trying to break him out. Um, we've already talked with your boss, and um, you're lucky that it's turned out the way it has. Um, but no, we have okay, no well, footage to share sure. with you. And just kind of um, throwing it back, kind of throwing it back at you here. Um, you don't think a stupid person would try and break somebody they just dropped off out, would you? So, you know, ball's back in your court. We brought him to you to protect him from himself. And the only reason that anything happened last night was because nobody was here to protect him last night. So that's what we're trying to say. He needs protection, whether it's a volunteer or one of you guys. I realize that it puts a stress on you guys because you're only three. I get it. So if you need help looking after Elias, because it his life is in danger from himself, maybe, but from somebody else, definitely. All right, well, we'll look into it. Yeah, and like I said, if you need uh, volunteer help, uh, I'd be, Charlie and I'd be happy to take a shift if we need to help you guys through the night or whatever that cause... won't be happening well i'm just putting it out there for you um i know you got enough people in town you could probably call on somebody to volunteer for an eight hour shift just to get you through the night but somebody needs to be here for for charlie or for elias sorry yeah i get it but uh yeah it won't be you guys um and that's perfectly fine you realize what just that... happened and yeah, but I want you to put that thought in your head, too. Like, why would we drop the person off and then try and break them out? doesn't make sense. That's what I'm trying to figure out, but it's fine. Like I said, things have been smoothed over. You're lucky things turned out the way they did, but we'll figure it out from here. All right. Like I said, if you need anything, please don't hesitate. We'll talk to you soon. And I take my leave. Okay. Uh, Maxine. Yeah. And the other three play or other two players. Two. Yep. Um, okay, so. Go ahead. I'm entering the. It's, I'm assuming it's open. Yep. Okay, so I'm going in. And I guess they're following me. I assume why is being a smart, a smart little boy. What do you mean? Uh, in a way of like sarcastically filming, like just zooming oh, yeah. in on stupid things and like. <laughs> oh no. He's he's filming everything. He's a professional. No, nothing has happened yet to make Wyatt do something silly. Okay. Okay, right, so hello. Is anyone here? Uh you hear footsteps coming down the stairs. Hello? How can I help you? Oh. Hi. Hi, Charlie. Uh, Maxine, right? Maxine. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Charlie. Um, yeah, uh, this is Wyatt, and actually, this is Charlie as well. Uh, you can me. call me Charlotte. It's fine. Um, hello. Okay. Uh, so a few things have happened since I talked to you last. Um, we had kind of talked about like what you had. See, or, sorry, do you do you have a second to talk or no? I mean, yeah, we're not even really nothing's going on yet today. So what what do you need though? Well, okay. So we had talked about what you had seen before and and you'd given me a description and and yeah. So well, we've seen the we've seen the same thing. We were We've come across a, a creature with red eyes and 
yeah, it was quite a, a an experience, I guess is the only word you can say. But I was just, I just wanted to talk to you again, just because it's like, I, I don't know, just being in contact with somebody else that has seen the same things. It's just so strange. It's, I just wondered if you had any more info or like what, like what you were doing at that time or we're, we're trying to figure out if we can get some kind of handle on, on when this thing appears or, or, um, things that are happening. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not describing it very well. Am I? No, not really. Sorry. It's just, yeah, a lot has happened in the last day or so. So it's, yeah, we're just, we're trying to figure out how or when or like this creature, or this thing is going to show up or why it shows up or, yeah, we're trying to get to the bottom of it and see if, I don't know, maybe we can get rid of, get rid of this happening so nobody else has to go through it or you know, something like that. Can you give me any more particulars about the time that you saw it? Like, um, did you experience the cold or, or uh, yeah, I, any info that you could give us would be greatly appreciated. I mean, it gets I'm, I'm not cold here at night. Um, I'm not sure what else you need. Um, well, I saw like I said, I thought I was dreaming. Middle of the night. Was, yeah. That's it. I'm not so sure you, what you're looking for here. Were you sleeping or or? I was sleeping and then I woke up. Or and it was maybe didn't room? wake up. I don't know. It was possibly a dream. I I don't know. Okay. Did you feel any? Uh cold or I, I i understand what you're saying about it's cold here but this there was some people have described it as a, a coldness like a like it taking over them or or and that's kind of what we felt too so i'm just wondering whether you felt anything like that or um again i woke up and it was cold in my room i mean i don't know necessarily that it was extraordinarily cold but like i woke up because i was cold i don't know okay and do you never wake up because you're cold generally when i fall asleep it's like i i'm warmed up but it's like unless i'm uncovered no uh, yeah like were you uncovered no it just had you're... gotten colder i i guess i did forgot to turn up the heat or something i don't know Okay, so you saw this creature and then it just disappeared, or did yeah. it stick around? Like I said, so I'm instantly. pretty sure I was dreaming. I okay. saw it, it, looked at me for a bit, and then vanished. Or I woke up okay. and saw what was actually there, which was nothing. Okay. It's, yeah. It's just that the description you gave was very similar to what we saw ourselves and what others have described as well. So it's like, yeah, we're, it be, what our hopes are is that we can figure this out so that, like I said, so this can stop happening to other people so that nobody gets hurt or disappears or mean, anything like that. I wasn't that. hurt. Was somebody hurt? No, but people have disappeared. Well, you know, I know Rachel's disappeared. That was long but... before this started happening. Was it? This, I mean, this only happened like a month or two ago. Okay. She's been gone for a year and a half. And everybody right. knows it's Elias's fault. Right. Well, he's, yeah. They were both doctors. Like, they both had their doctorates. They were both smart people. If anybody's able to hide 
their emotions, hide their, come up with a fake story, hide the body, hide the evidence. If anybody's able to do it, it's going to be them. They're both scientists. They're both super smart people. And you think that's what he did, was he hid her away somewhere, did something and hid her away. Who knows? But why is he here and okay. she's not? Yeah. So, you saying that about Elias, it's like, were you, were you friends with them or were you friends with Rachel or, because I know she was gone for a bit, but then she came back. Were you no, friends with I her wasn't before? Really or? friends with either of them, but I know Eliza. Okay. Yeah. And I know she's very anti Elias. I mean, um, anybody who knows the story would, other than the police, everybody else thinks that Elias was the one who did it. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought I would, yeah. Charlie, do you have any questions or anything that you can think of to ask her about? Uh, no. Is, is that all then? Okay. So, I I realize that Eliza feels that it's all Eliza's fault, but how would you feel or what would you think if we told you that that Elias isn't the one that caused her disappearance and that Rachel might be alive. Is still alive. I would say Are you're you crazy. Character? Okay. No. And that it has been a year and a half. Elias himself says that she's gone. So I have no idea how you would come up with that theory. You're starting to sound uh, excuse... like a crazy person. When was the last time you spoke with Elias? I don't know, a year and a half ago? Did he believe the in time. the mist or fog or whatever, whispering to him and telling him things? No, he was doing research on, like, I don't know, something, something to do with... They were taking, like, samples of the soil and stuff because there was mysterious properties in the Nahani Valley soil or trees. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I paint on canvas that comes from paper or okay. comes from trees. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I was take pictures that... of nature, but that doesn't mean anything. Hey, taking pictures of nature means something. Not in the scientific way. Well, yes and no. So, okay. Have you... Ali? Do you guys have any interest in the arts? Or is this just going to be a regular thing where you just come in and question me about different things? What's uh, your newest piece? Sure. Um, well, I'm mainly a photographer. So it's just different pictures that I've taken. Right. So what's uh, your most recent piece? Um, well, Why it is filming. Sorry. Uh, I took this one about a week ago. I was on a nature hike and thought that the clearing looked, looked pretty, so I took a picture. Can we see it? Yeah, sure. Um, she takes you upstairs. Oh, I meant like us players. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> unless you uh, want me to, I'm gonna turn the. Unless you want it to be on here, I'm gonna turn the film off before we go upstairs. Uh, upstairs is just more art. Like I live, I don't live. Well, upstairs. I know. I just didn't know if you wanted the the no, art on the show. That's fine. You can film whatever okay. you want. <clears throat> so she walks so you up the stairs. The what? So you've got a picture of the clearing. A clearing, yes. 
Oh, a clearing. It's not the clearing. In the clearing, new person, red eyes. Yeah. Fog. The exact evidence we were looking for. Uh, so they, she takes you upstairs, um, kind of points out some other artwork that she's done, other like photos that she's taken. Um, it's pretty much all like nature shots. Um, and she takes you to the one that she's talking about. And as you're looking at it, you kind of, uh, sorry, are like examining it. And it's got like a nice looking tree line and kind of like a cliff side overlooking a river in the background. Um, uh, and as you're looking at it, you know what? Let's do uh, investigate a mystery. Uh oh. Is it two? Yep. Who's doing it? Probably not Maxine. <laughs> no, it's Maxine if she if she already rolled. <laughs> what do I add to it? Anything? You're sharp. Oh, so two. So she got a seven. seven. That's a mixed success. Um, so you get to ask one. A one. Failure. You get to ask one question. Um, what can just, hurt it? <laughs> so I'll, I'll just give this to you here. Um, so as you're staring at this painting, you're examining yeah. it real close, looking at it. Wyatt, you're kind of filming along it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And in the far distance behind some other trees, you actually do see two red eyes and a head poking out from behind a tree. Well, that was appropriate music. <laughs> right at the exact time. Yeah. Oh, we've had a couple of like good stings right when something happens. It, it's been nice. Yeah, that, that one worked out. Oh. Yeah, we okay, needed, so we needed the extra... A conversation about the music ruined the effect the music had. Yes, it did. No, no it didn't. Perfect. It added to it. So I'm going to point to Wyatt, like, to... I'm kind of like... He's... I'm assuming he's going to see it. Um, I mean, you can point it out. What is, what is this over here in the corner? Do I'm not sure. This? I was just taking pictures. Does it look similar to what you think you saw in your room? What are you talking about? Right there. Can you see it in the, down there? It looks like two red eyes. No, it's just some plant or something. Okay. Why are you getting this? Yeah. It's a beautiful shot. Thank you. I thought so. I really like the composition. I'm impressed that someone so young... It's coming up with composition words. No, uh, that it, they're interested in this type of thing. I mean, this is kind. Of, I kind of do camera work. I've done some research. No, no, I'm saying it's it's good to see. Um, I didn't get into this until I was later in my life, so it's nice to see somebody starting out so young. And by the time you're my age, you're going to be way better than I am. So. I don't know. You do really good work. That'd be rough. Anyway, um, yeah. So this is my latest one. How much? How much is the picture? You want to buy it? Would you be? In sure. I'm interested in this one. Um, I don't know. Uh, two fifty. That sounds fair. You said you just took it? Yeah, about a week ago. 
do you know whereabouts you were when you took it? It'd be interesting to kind of see the change. Well, no, I guess in a week it wouldn't have changed that much, but still it'd be cool to see where this is. Um, let me check the back here. So she turns it around. It's got her initials and a date. Yeah. I have to come up with a name of a trail. Give me a second. Are you asking chat GPT? No, I'm asking uh, <laughs> fantasy name generator. Not sponsored. Nah. <laughs> but if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, Whispering Pines Trail. Okay. Are we going to know where that is? Uh, there's like a, like there'll be trail guides and stuff around. Right now you don't, but you could probably pick up a map from the lodge. Okay. Um, before, is she wrapping it up now? Uh, no, she wasn't planning on selling it, so she was, she was just going to give it to you. Is she off? Are we not giving her 250 for it? Yeah, but like, she wasn't going to wrap it up. She was just going to hand it to you guys, basically. Um, so was this the only one that you took around that time, or? I mean, it was the only one have... that really turned out. Um, I have some other ones, I guess. Can we take a look at those, or? Do you have a flash drive on you? Uh, no, would be I, the answer. I, okay, I'm like maybe Charlie does. I don't know, or even Actually, Wyatt. Wyatt would. Wyatt It'd might be Wyatt his... if anyone. In the camera bag, I guess maybe. Do you have a? Do you have something, Wyatt, or no? What? A flash drive, USB stick. Oh, USB yeah, stick. I've got one. Give me a second. Here you go. All right. Um, so she. I got lost looking at the picture. She takes the date. Um, she goes onto her computer, grabs the date, and just drags and drops it into the thing. Now, I better not see any reproductions of this. Don't worry. It's like this is. We under. I understand how artists work. It's like, of course not. If we were to use it, we would make sure that we asked your permission. Okay. Just wanted to be clear. Yeah, no, we get that. Um, before we go, uh, there was a couple other people. Oh. That's right. Why it's our conscience for sure. Um, I was wondering if you know where I could get hold of Olivia or Hazel. Uh, Hazel is just one of the guides at the lodge. Um, okay. You're talking to Olivia, Olivia Harper. Sure. She, she's um, a deputy at the police station. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Charlotte. No problem. Uh, thank you for yeah, your purchase. Was... I guess. Yeah. No. Thanks. Thanks for showing us your work. And like, yeah. Maybe this will encourage Wyatt to go down this path a little bit more as well. Well, we can always use more in the field. For sure. Okay, so we'll head out. Unless you guys have any questions for her. Anyone? No, I'm good. All right. We appreciate your help. Have a good day, guys. Okay, so we head back to the lodge. Okay. 
once again, Tom is in the briefing room, um, kind of just doing some, uh, just Tom stuff. What was that? Tom stuff. Yeah, Tom stuff. No, he's he's on his laptop just looking up some stuff, um, and he sees you guys come in. It's like you bought a painting. Yeah, uh, not a painting, a picture. What, I, well, what did you okay. need a picture for? Just calm down, Tom. Okay, okay well, you remember, this, this is out. my money that you're spending. Yes, you'll see why. Check this out. Nature? What do you see? Take a look over here. Trees. What is that? Rocks. What? Water? Oh, my lord. Rocks and trees uh, and trees and rocks. <laughs> What do you see behind this tree? Poking its head out. What do you see there? Are you blind? Something with like red eye? I don't know. What is that? That's That's her. the creature. Okay, well, her. I haven't seen it. What do you want from me? Okay, does it not stand out? It seems odd. Yeah, does it's it not? like a weird dark red eyed thing. I don't know. Maybe it added digitally. I don't know. Okay. Okay, you don't know you what people do. You guys saw it, right? Plus, we've got a USB stick with more pictures from the same area. What was the name of the trail? Where she took this picture? I'm not giving it to you again. Uh... <laughs> Whispering... <laughs> Whispering Pine, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I got part of it. Whispering. As soon as you said that, it's like, okay, got it. Well, that was not a pleasant conversation. What happened with you? When I spoke to the female sheriff or deputy or whatever she was, she's pretty pretty uh, sure we wanted to break Elias out. Uh, oh, was did her she name not on... like you telling her how to do her job? Oh, uh, no, it wasn't that at all. She was pretty sure we were criminals that were trying to get rid of, uh, get Elias out of jail after we put him there. Doesn't even make sense. Anyway, it's all good. They're gonna hopefully get some volunteers to look after him during the evening. At least that's what she tried to reassure me of. Okay, Victor, take a look at this. Oh, did was he in there when we were looking at the picture? No, I just got in. No, he just got okay. Take a look at this. What do you see there behind the tree there? I see our little friend. Yeah, exactly. That's what... Who took this? That was Charlotte or Charlie, whatever she's going... Well, because I had Charlie with me, she said yeah. Charlotte, but... And she never noticed this? No, she thought, said it was a plant or something, which I don't understand since she saw the creature herself, but I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like a plant at all. Understandable oh, that she wouldn't want to believe the creature is out there. Yeah, true enough. Well, that's a good find, you guys. Well done. All right, so uh, did you get anything else from... Yeah, well, I was just telling Tom we got, she I asked her where, she, like if she had more pictures, because maybe maybe the creature was following her, I don't know, but All right. Well, uh, why it's got I a go flash through, I can go through that drive if you want while well, you guys are doing whatever you're doing Sure Okay, so was, so I sit down? No, no, I, no, hold on, hold on Victor, was it, was it Olivia you talked to at, I think he said, she said Olivia Harper? Oh, actually, yeah, it was. Her name was on her jacket layer. Olivia, yep. Okay, well, that's somebody we want to talk Olivia, to. Olivia, it would have been Harper. Okay. That was one Actually, of the... it said, oh, Harper. I just assumed it was Olivia. Sorry. True. Could have been Odette. Yeah, okay. Well, Olivia was one of the people that were or one of the crew that was investigating the power shortages at the 
Oh, now, well. right? Well, you guys are uh, going over to talk to her then, if you want. Uh, I'll go through this hard drive, flash drive. Hey, how was she with you? I don't want to talk about it. It may not be the best time for us to be approaching the sheriff's office. Yeah, especially after all that. Well, do, maybe we should go see if we can talk to this Hazel? I don't know. Oh, I do have a piece of information that was interesting. Uh, so when I asked her about the camera footage, because I uh -huh. figured they'd want to, yeah. you know, uh, look at that. She said it was out for about two hours. How long would you say you were there? Well, I know I wasn't there very long, but were you guys, why were you guys there very long before I got there? I don't think so, right? Not for two hours. Like, that's ten, for sure. like 10 minutes. Maybe so I, I found minutes, that, 10, 15 minutes? yeah, that's what I said. I said maybe 15 minutes. So I found that kind of interesting that the camera was out for two hours. I so wonder when it started. Like how that's much? That's what I mean. I don't know if before uh, the creature. this Rachel or whatever. I don't know what to call this thing. You want to call this thing Rachel? Well, I'll just call this thing creature. Anyway, I don't know how long it was stalking the place out, or uh, I don't know. It just it just struck me as odd. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't. Know. Okay. So Victor's gonna go over the footage. Well, not the footage. The stills, the pictures, pictures. that Charlie took, or Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Do we want to go see if we can uh, talk to this Hazel? Of course, I yeah, we might have to set up an appointment with her just the same way that we did with Edmund, just to talk to her. I don't know how busy she is. She'd be the same as Edmund. Well... I wonder if it's easier just for me to phone or whether what do you, what do you guys say should we go and see or should we make an appointment i can just phone to buy us up and see if i can make an appointment to meet with meet with her or talk to her because we obviously we can't talk to olivia yet until she cools down or the whole police station cools down I don't know, last time you went to uh, see Edmund, uh, you guys got in right away. Was that, uh, how'd you get in last time? Well, we went just, it was in between uh, clients. Like uh, he, he had a few minutes. It was just, we just fluked upon him like getting back and then heading out again. So it was like, we, I don't know, we talked to him for about five minutes. That was with Oliver. Ah, so it's with Oliver. Yeah. And Charlie. Charlie was mostly just trying to keep Oliver calm, but... He's a wild card. Yeah. But, yeah, we could try the same thing again, I guess. I don't know. I don't know whether it's just a waste of time for us to only talk to her for five seconds. Everybody just wants to shut this down right away. They don't want to talk about it. I haven't really seen anybody that wants to talk about it yet. Well, you're trying to get people to talk about something they don't believe exists. Or don't want to believe exists. And I get that. It's like, I don't want to believe it exists, but I've seen something. So it's like, we got to figure out what the heck's going on. So, do you want to go, Charlie, or what do you want to do? Sure. All right, well, we can head over to the lodge then. All right, Game Master, what do I got to roll for investigating all these pictures? Well, you said a word in it. Investigate. It must be, uh, protect someone. Yes. Is it protect someone? Because I could use tough. Instead of sharp. <laughs> oh. That's a six. Okay. So you don't get anything. Anyway. Sharp. 
Is that a fail? Yes. Yes, Mark. An experience. You reveal some information yeah. to the monster or whoever you're talking to. Computer to learns your secrets. <laughs> Computer learns that I don't know how to look at pictures. You plug the USB stick in and it pops up with something. And you're like, do I click this? It's a virus? <laughs> you get a pop up. The FBI has logged your IP. <laughs> By the way, this is amazing. Is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? That's yeah, that juice from. Well, Saber Latino. Oh, Lemonada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, okay. Let's switch back to peaceful music. Uh, okay, so who all is going to the uh, lodge hunting lodge oh. I'll what go say? Wyatt I said who all is going to the hunting lodge Wyatt managed to get out yeah. I'll go well, I'm assuming Charlie has okay so it's everyone except for Victor correct yeah I would correct. assume even though Victor failed I'd assume it would take him more than five seconds to look yes all right. So, we'll grab you three and bring you down to the lodge. The Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge. In Yeehaw, case nobody in Jedi. case nobody watched the uh the world building one that we did. Uh this I was ori did. originally supposed to be uh, little old baby Jeb Memorial Hunting Lodge. But oh, because oh. I wanted a bit more serious of a campaign, I got rid of the little old baby Jeb and just made it Jebediah. What's not serious about little old baby Jeb? The everything. Everything <laughs> about that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, you guys head over there. Uh, Tobias is standing behind the counter. He sees Maxine coming in with uh, Charlie and a new person. Uh, and immediately is like, yes. Hi, Tobias. How are you? I'm all right. Um, how are you three? I see you have a new child with you. not new has he has Wyatt been there before no Oliver was with you last time that's what he's saying yeah. a new person yeah Tobias I figured you'd be happy to see us since we spent so much money the last time we were here okay what did y'all spend money on with our well that was partly due to Oliver but it was like we laid down we laid down a little bit of money to have a session with Edmund. Anyway. Anyway, yes, go on. What what do you need? We were well, we've already met with Edmund. I was just wondering if Oh, so you just want to go through all of our guides. Is that what you're saying? Maybe it'll come to that. I'm not sure. But I was just wondering if we could get together with Hazel. I'll have to check with Jenny. I don't know if that came true. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to check her schedule. But um, I figured probably not today. Okay. What do you want from her? 
Well, again. Who well, are you looking it, for now? Yeah. I I actually just wanted to kind of question her a little bit about something that she had looked into. Like? And you know, this is a legitimate well, business we run, right? Like, you don't have to come and bother them while we're at work. Are you we can not, find I these people like out of work. Are we not paying to, to there meet for with their them? time? No. Yeah, but we're paying for their time. I, I don't know why you're getting so upset, Tobias. You're not paying for their time to meet with them. You're paying for their time if you choose to take them on a guiding session. Well, how about if she were to guide us to whisper, the Whispering Pines Trail? I mean, I guess that's an option. Is there a particular reason? Uh, we just wanted to see the scenery. All right. Well, I guess we'll schedule you in for tomorrow. Sure. What time? Um, 1030. <clears throat> sure. Charlie, that works for you. Wyatt, I guess you're coming as well. I don't have anything else going on. Yeah, nothing planned at this point. Okay, well. Thank you for your pleasantness, Tobias. Well, like I said, this is the third time that your crew has come here. Um, so it's fine, but realize that this is a place of business. Okay, well, if you don't want to do that, is... Do you, is there somewhere else that we could meet Hazel that doesn't have to be at work? We just figured it'd be a, a way of bringing money into this establishment as well. I don't, you know, I don't know why you're getting so bothered by it. Again, the only money we take in is if you actually go on the guiding session. It doesn't include money if you're just, just meeting you with for one. Yes, I really, that's what I'm saying. You've, you've asked for it. Great. We're, we'll set that up. But I just want this to be very clear that it isn't just you're not just coming to meet with them just for the sake of meeting with them and when you initially started this conversation you said you just wanted to ask questions about something that she'd done in the past we can take the tour take the guided tour as well as talking to her i guess that's fine yes that's that's fine so we'll see you tomorrow at 10 30. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Tobias. Plus, last time you were here, you also forced him to try and fit you in between meetings. Yeah, I can understand hey. why this establishment doesn't like us. Hey, we've offered money every single time we've come here. No, we've... not the first time. Oh, well, maybe. Okay. Frankie offered Frankie. nothing. Frankie and didn't. You didn't offer money to get. Oh yes, we did. Not for the appointments, for the tour. They offered more money, or for the. No, we we talked about paying for his time. Period. Anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, this is a cranky lodge. Change your name to Jebediah Cranky. The Crankmeister Lodge. How about that? Let's maybe not use Crankmeister. Um, and go on, move on. You guys are going back. Move along. To, back to. We're going back to. The fun lodge. Yeah, the happy lodge. Happy Meister Lodge. How about that? Great. Where Evelyn is pleasant. <laughs> only only because she's being paid a lot of money to have you guys there. Evelyn's the best. Yeah, Evelyn, Evelyn's, the Evelyn's best. nice. Tobias, not nice. Kind of yeah. cranky. If, if we were trying to get away with everything we're doing without paying Evelyn, I'm pretty sure she would also be cranky. Wow. We haven't done anything to That's annoy it, Evelyn. It's warranted. Yet. Yeah, yet. 
I mean, you keep interrupting okay. her in the middle of a lunch rush to ask her questions. How busy is it? There's only, what, 500 people in this town? Yeah, with what, two restaurants? Yeah. I'm sure not everybody can afford to go out and eat. Anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Going back to the lodge. No, I know. I'm saying, like, you're already, like, unless you're talking on the way there, you can already be there. Doop a doop a doop a doop. Yeah, what time it's is getting. This thing tonight? I don't know. Let's say 7 30. What time is it now? Like, 7 29. Noon. I guess we'll go back and eat. 